What's up, Mr. Allen here, about to do a shaded region problem, and it's gonna be awesome! Given circle Q with radius nine meters and the inscribed triangle, inscribed means that all three vertices lie on the circle, find the area of the shaded region. All right, let's talk big picture of this whole thing here. When we're talking about shaded region problems, we're gonna take the larger shape and we're gonna subtract out the smaller ones. So in this case, the area of the circle minus the area of that triangle that's in it is gonna give me my total area, my shaded area. So that's my overall goal. Can I figure anything out right off the bat? Well, since I have a circle with a radius of nine meters, and my formula for the area of a circle is just pi r squared, I'm set to go on this one. Let's plug in nine for my radius. So nine squared, that's gonna be 81 pi. That is my area of the circle, although not a final answer. I'm gonna circle it for now, just because that's an important part of this problem. Now we gotta move on to the area of the triangle, which is the more challenging part. Well, my radius, as we said, is nine. And if we look at this side right here of that triangle, that is not only a side of the triangle, it goes to the center of the circle, which makes it a diameter. So if that's nine and nine for my diameter, right? This is nine and that's nine for my radius and radius. My diameter, excuse me, is then going to be 18 meters. So let's jot that down and I'll do some teacher brackets inside here. So it's gonna be 18 meters. All right, is there anything else that I can figure out? Back to that whole idea of this diameter here, right? That's half the circle, okay? It's cutting through half the circle. So that means that from here around all the way to here, that's 180 degrees, right? Now, this angle right here is an on angle. And if you look at it, it intercepts at that spot and that spot right there. It intercepts the 180 degree arc. Well, that means Half of 180 is that angle, so this is a 90 degree angle. It's a right angle. All right, I'm gonna take that stuff off, bring it over here, and give ourselves a fresh triangle to work with because that was getting a little bit over, over the top, right? We've got a right angle, I've got a 30 degree angle, and we've got this length here is 18 meters. So what am I really working with here? A 30 and a 90, that leaves me with a 60 degree angle. I have myself a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now, hopefully we do remember the area of a triangle formula is one half base times height. So I need a base and a height. Well, my base and my height, the only stipulation there is that they need to be perpendicular to each other. So perhaps I need to find those two missing sides of this triangle because they are perpendicular to each other. I have my hypotenuse. How do I get from my hypotenuse to the short side? I'm going to divide by two. So to get that one, 18 divided by two is just nine meters. And how do I get from that short side then to my side that's across from the 60? I'm going to multiply by root three. So that means I'm just going to have nine root three meters. All right. We're cruising, baby. We're cruising. So now I essentially have my base and my height. So area equals one half. This is my triangle base times height. My base can be any one of those, right? I'll just choose, I guess, nine. And then I've got uh, nine root three for my height. So I'm going to have 81 root 3 over 2. 81 is not divisible by 2, so I'll just go ahead and leave that. That'll be meters squared. I did forget to put my units on my circle there. Meters squared. Whoop, whoop. All right. So area of the shaded region. What am I going to do with these two things? Well, this is my area of the triangle, and I've got my area of that circle. Let's scooch over so we have some room. I'm going to take the area of the circle, which is 81 pi, and I'm going to subtract the 81 root three over two, and I will get meters squared. Final answer, that 81 pi is a little bit scrunched there. I like that a little better. There it is. Boom diggity, we got it. I can't combine these because like the pi and the root three, they're not like terms. So you'd have to leave them separate. It looks terrible. But if you wanted, you could also plug it into your calculator and get a decimal approximation. But generally speaking, a lot of these types of problems, we want exact answers. And this is an exact answer. No decimals, no rounding. That's what I'm talking about. You guys have a good one. See ya.